Federal Trade Commission is warning you some friendly text messages could be fake. Yeah, and instead of responding, you should ignore it and you should block the number. Janice is joining us with a look at text messages you should ignore and why. Yeah, and they're so common, right? But this is the thing. You've probably received a text message like this one that says, hi. How are you? Well, the Federal Trade Commission says ignore that text or you could be opening yourself up to a scam. You might think there's nothing wrong with a friendly text message, but the Federal Trade Commission says think again. According to the FTC, scammers are using this tactic as a conversation starter, so don't text back. I've talked to locals who said they've seen the text before, and this is how they responded. I ignore it and delete it. Back in the day, you put a like, who is this? And then it's like, oh yeah, I'm this, this, there. So, but you get a random like different addressing you with a different name, but yeah, I just delete it and don't even respond to it. And do you typically block the number as well? I don't block it, but if there's, when you delete it and then you, on the iPhone, if you can like report as junk. My husband is a, a tech guy. And so he works for AT&T and he, nice. he's always telling me, see this, do not open it. <laughs> so I am very aware of what I should and should not. But let's say you make the mistake and respond. The FTC says this is what you can expect. The person, a scammer on the other end of the text, will probably apologize and find a way to keep the conversation going to befriend you. Then, once they have your trust, they'll try to offer you advice or investing in cryptocurrency or claim they can teach you the secrets to making big money in the crypto markets. For a fee, of course. But it's all a scam and they'll just steal your money. The FTC also says, even if you just reply to the text, but don't engage in conversation, you've still confirmed they reached a working telephone number, which could lead to more calls and texts from scammers. So the next time you get an unwanted text, remember it might not be a friend from the past, but a scammer trying to take everything you have. So what you can do is delete and report those text messages using your phone's report junk option or forwarding unwanted text to 7726 and unwanted emails to your email provider. Also make sure that you do not open any links. It could be malware that puts viruses on your cell phone. And if you believe you are a victim of a scam, we have a link inside this story to report it to the FTC. Joy? All great.